Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on a 1935 Chevy. What do you guys sent this in a while ago? And as soon as I saw it, I recognized these colors. I'm like, okay, that's Chip Foose stuff from about like 15 years ago, I'd say. <laughs> these pewter colors, there was like a little period of time when this was like real popular on Hot Rods. And I think it was old Chip who was uh, running the show on that. So we're gonna do a little bit of a restyle on this because every time I look at this thing, I just see that it's completely dated and it reminds me of my childhood, but not in a good way. It's kind of like, man, people don't do this anymore. We, we want this thing to be a real bang and beautiful hot rod. So we're gonna restyle this one a little bit. This thing's a total premium die cast. You can see the brake rotors don't even turn. So that's pretty darn cool. I already did the drilling on this project. Oh wow, I thought this base was gonna be super complex just based on what the bottom looks like. It's actually super simple. Wow, they really disguised this. I thought this was gonna be a lot nicer piece of plastic. I've been bamboozled. What else we got here? How's our chip foose interior? Oh, damn, look at them leather seats. Ooh, they're beautiful. That's crazy, I had no idea this hood opened. Okay, okay, take that into consideration. I guess that's what you get when you just grab one off the shelf and start a video, right? One Chevy small block. One little grill. I don't know what scale this is. Kind of an oddball in between. Man, is that really the color of the dashboard on this car? I don't know if anyone... I'm sure this was on a TV show somewhere. I'm curious. Was it this kind of like weird minty green color? Let me know if any of you guys remember. Never ceases to amaze me, man. This is some crazy stripper. This is the most aggressive stuff I think we've ever had on this channel, and I've had some pretty nasty ones, but it's definitely not smelly like the other stuff. So if you're in Canada looking for paint stripper, man, get some quick strip from Napa. Quick with the K. Because this stuff is intense. Look at that. Wow. Hell yeah, well let me go get this all cleaned up and we will continue prepping this thing for a, a new paint job. Oh, this whole front end comes off? You're kidding me. I'm gonna drill these out and take this off just because I don't wanna have a bunch of water and crap underneath this fender when I go to paint. I can just imagine coming in with the gun and some water blows out of here, it's gonna ruin everything. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill out these couple of rivets that are holding it in. And then before we paint, I'll just glue this back in place. And that way I know it's nice and dry in there and we'll be fine with our paint. And we'll just have to, I'm very surprised that that is a separate piece. Caught me off guard a little bit. Huh. <laughs> All right. Good thing we took that off. Look at all that extra paint and junk in there. Hmm, that could have ruined our whole project. This is kind of interesting. The deeper I get, the more parts I find that can come apart. Turns out these headlights are totally glued in there as well. I was wondering what all this crud was on there. That must be their adhesive. All right, all our parts are looking pretty good here. I got everything scuffed with a nice red scotch bright. Right, we should be able to just glue that on, no problem. Sweet, so maybe we'll do that. I'll just glue these little mushrooms. We'll dabble do. One there, one there. I'll just use a little bit of this Starbond accelerator to speed things along, and we'll get that all set up. And that'll be good to go in a few minutes. Sweet, that'll be way cool, man. When we got her all done, we got that engine block painted and stuff. That's a pretty cool model. It's pretty cool the way everything comes apart. It's kind of like an M2, but I love that the hood opens. All right, I'm just about ready to take this over to the spray booth and we'll lay down some color. 
I want to use this sparkle s in purple. I've only used this one time and it was uh, outrageous. It's a really beautiful color and it's got some shades of pink in it. So it's kind of iridescent purple with sparkles. And some of the sparkles in here are kind of blue. So I have dug through my pile of pinstripe tape and I believe I have found an appropriate match. Let me see here. I wanted something purple. You guys are probably wondering where I got all these. I'm sure half of you guys are sitting there with chubbies right now. These are actually nail tape that ladies use to do like pinstripe art on their fingernails. So you can buy a big humongous pack of these tapes for less than $10. I think I'm into this for $6. Um, you can grab them right on Amazon. Just look up nail tape. I'm looking for something funky. I think it's gonna be this one here. So this is what you get for $6. I don't know if they're any good. Let me try it out here before you guys spend your money. But uh, it's pretty exciting that I found these because these are thin, super duper thin. That's gonna look good on here. It's gonna look good on doing like lowrider style paint, you know, where they have all those like foil strips that are in the paint job. I think we could get away with using this stuff. I'm gonna try to use this for pinstriping today. And as you can see, it's kind of like holographic. There's a couple little reds glinting in there and some blues. I'm gonna give our body here one last good degreasing with some hot soapy water. Get it all dried off real good. Make sure there's no water underneath these front fenders. And then I'm gonna lay down a little bit of, uh, I don't know, probably a white sealer as a primer. And then we're gonna use our sparkle essent here. It's called Fine Wine 2. Beautiful, beautiful color. That's gonna look really good on this one with all these nice big fenders. Should be just amazing. So let's head out to the spray booth and get some hemostats here. We'll take this and I'll meet you in there. All right, so here's our body, looking good. This paint is real gorgeous, even without clear coat. Pimp, <laughs> look at this. Mm -mm -mm. We just put it straight on. Hell yeah, this is gonna be funky. My mind is just racing with all kinds of possibilities for this stuff.
Huh? Check it out. Mm, 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 mm. Interesting. I'm totally trying to picture like some crazy paint jobs that have this stuff in it. This is cool. Here's our Ford now. I threw one little uh, clear coat on there just to make sure our little pinstripe wasn't going to go anywhere. It's going to look a little bit better with uh, an additional coat or two of clear coat. First one's a little rough. Usually two or three is the goal. So this is looking real good. I don't know if you guys remember in my last video, I mentioned my clear coat activator was looking a little bit weird. So I woke up yesterday morning to clear coat this car and my activator was one solid block by the time I got into the spray booth. So that kind of sucked. This is some fancy looking paint, boy. This is going to look amazing on the rotisserie. Here's all our interior pieces. These look great. I think while my gloves are all messed up here, I think I'm going to go clear coat the body. And we'll get that in the oven. That's a nice looking classic dashboard. Got to get a little bit of metal on that steering wheel, but we're going to leave it kind of leather wrapped like that. I think it's going to look sweet. I think I'm going to go spray this in just a typical aluminum. And then we'll put some details on this. We'll spray this and I'll do the body and we'll come back and we'll work on this interior. Okay, wow, this camera's really crooked. Sorry about that. BRB. I realize the channel has been kind of getting away from the resurrections. That's my fault. We've been just casually kind of just drifting, doing whatever. But I would like to do more restorations. It's a nice looking dashboard, man. That looks like pure hot rod to me. Put that in there. 
Definitely sweet. What a wild Hot Wheels, man. Uh, how come they don't make stuff like this anymore? Park this in front of Jimmy's place for now. <laughs> All right, coffee break over. I'm gonna go check and see if our body is ready to go. And if that's the case, we'll do an assembly. All right. Okay. Engine installed. I wish uh, I might touch that up and put a little bit darker purple on that. It stands out pretty boldly, but um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you leave it? Should it be totally color matched, or is it better that it's a little bit different? What do you think? For this reveal, I thought we would take her straight to the light box. Here we go, what do you guys think? I'm digging the purple. I think it looks a lot better than those uh, outdated colors that we started with. No offense, chip foos, namaste. I think she's looking pretty sweet. I uh, had a good time on this project. I wish I had more that were kind of in this scale. It's just a little bit bigger than a 164, but big enough where you can like take the bumpers out and the grills and stuff. That would probably be ideal. Next video should be the ice cream truck. Now that the snow is here, Man, there's nothing else left to do except make videos, so hope you don't get tired of seeing me. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Later.